to the New York Times. We should have talked about that. That's kind of long. Uh, when I was wearing a younger man's clothes a few years ago, not many years ago, uh, I was on, uh, I think, WABC Radio. Remember WABC? Mark Simone's on there now. God bless him. Mark does a good job. In fact, I think I was just on the show last week when talking about it. Talking about this, matter of fact. Uh, I got off the air at about 10 o'clock, 10.30, and uh, these, these four weird-looking guys came up wearing Lord Flauntoroy suits, knickers. I mean, look, wilder than the monkeys. I mean, this is, but they weren't monkey around. They wore blue frou-frou shirts, and the, they were wild. They called themselves the Young Rascals. You know, you know, I have been fighting for many, many years to get these guys back together again. I don't understand it. Uh, I spoke to little Steven on the air. It's gonna happen eventually. In the wings right now, he's one of the founding members, a guy that we love. You've seen him a million times. You have all of his music in the house. Also, a Davy fan. Ladies and gentlemen, founding member of the Rascals, one of the Rascals, Gene Cornish. Good evening. What a great night this is. First of all, as I said, this is a tribute, a celebration to Davey. Davey never missed a show, and I know he's in the house. Yes. Yes. Um, quick story. Um, when the Monkees had their, their wonderful, fabulous run on TV, they were coming near the end of uh, the last season, and the great Don Kirshner, who really put everything together, a very visionary from Queens. Uh, actually from Brooklyn, I think, yes. A Jewish man who knew what the Gentiles wanted. <laughs> and uh, he decided at the end that, that maybe they would extend the show a little bit and cut, cut their show short five minutes and have a five minute interview with a couple of the rock and roll bands that were at the time pretty hot, we were pretty hot, and a bunch of other acts. And I, I know they did an interview with Buffalo Springfield. And the episode that, uh, my friend Joe Russo, who is an arch uh, the Rascal Archivist, called me today to remind me that uh, the episode that w Dino and Dinelli and I appeared with Davey on an interview was called Some Like It Lukewarm, which was a takeoff on Some Like It Hot. Uh, we did this interview about our album, and Davey was just so relaxed at the end of it, I said, you know, I said, you could be one of those people who replaced Johnny Carson once in a while. And he laughed about it, you know. And uh, anyway, the episode never aired. So I never got on a damn monkey show. But I'm on a monkey show tonight, ain't I? I just want to say one thing. Uh, D Davey loved horses, loved animals as I did. And we spoke many times about this and that, you know, and uh, I remember I went to see Davey one time, if you'll just indulge me for a second. I went to see Davey one time when he first started doing a solo act after the monkeys had sort of like gotten the part. And he was in the back, backstage, nervous as hell. And uh, he said, what am I gonna do, mate? What am I gonna do? I said, you're gonna kick some ass. Don't worry about it. You, you are Davey Jones of the monkeys. I said, you are, our Paul McCartney. I said, I said the Beatles, the Beatles are just way over in England and the greatest band in the world, obviously, I said. But the monkeys are accessible. You're in the living rooms every day. Because of that, you are Davy Jones. So he said, okay, I'm nervous. And the guy went to announce him and I said, Davy, listen to me. I'm two feet taller than you. <laughs> I said, when he announces your name, do not walk out there right away. Make him wait. Count to 50. Make him wait and let the stunt lights go. And let the anticipation. Now this is where I want you to just join me for a second to relive this moment. He said, are you sure? I said, yes, listen to me. I'm bigger than you. <laughs> I said, I've been through this, you've been through this, but trust me. So the show starts, ladies and gentlemen, Davy Jones and the place just erupts. And he said, he's got one, two, three, four. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes and the searchlights are going. And all of a sudden the audience starts. Davy, Davy, 
gets louder and louder and he, he says 47 I said three more <laughs> he goes out there and, when, and the guy said again ladies and gentlemen Davy Jones in a place erupted so if you'll indulge me and let's do this together for Davy I want to start real soft Davy 